Hello everyone, in this video, let us learn to find the sum of secondary diagonal elements in the matrix by using the SIP program. So here, first I have a read array function. In this read array function, we are going to take the input of the elements in the matrix. I have a print array function. By this, we are going to display the elements in the matrix. And I have a secondary diagonal sum function. In this, we are going to actually calculate the sum of secondary diagonal elements. First, let us ask the user to input how many rows and columns he wants, and the input can be taken by using the standard function. Then let us call the read array function, and then let us call the print array function, and then let us call the secondary diagonal sum function. In the read array function, we have two for loops and a scanf function. Since a matrix can be considered a two dimensional array, two for loops are required to take the input for the elements in the matrix. And by this kind of function, we are going to actually input the elements in the matrix. And then in the print function also, we have in the print array function also, we have two for loops and a printf function. By this printf function, we can display the elements in the matrix. And here is the function to calculate the sum of elements in the secondary diagonal. So, first let us understand the logic. So, first let us consider a two cross two matrix. And here the secondary diagonal, diagonals will be. The elements which are present in the position 0, 1, and 1, 0. So let us consider this position as i and this position as j. So let us say the secondary, di secondary diagonal elements position 0, 1, and 1, 0. The sum of i and j is 1, and here also sum of i and j is 1, but the order of the matrix is 2. So the sum of positions of the secondary diagonal is 1 less than the order of the matrix. So let us use the same logic in the, in the function. So let us put two for loops and the condition is if i plus j is equal to equal to n r minus 1. That means if the position sum is 1 less than the order of the matrix, then the elements in that position will get added. That is total is equal to total plus a of i and j. And then we are going to return this total. So let us run the program. How many rows? Two rows. How many columns? Two columns. The array elements are 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is the secondary diagonal. That is the element represented in secondary diagonal are 2 and 3. And the sum is 5. And here we can see that the sum is 5. This is how the program works. 